In order to get a better idea about what specific heat is, let's look at some materials and take a look at their specifics. Uh, start with water, which was by which was the definition of the uh, the formulation of the calorie. Uh, with liquid water, we took some measurements and we realized that when you add one calorie of water to one gram uh, or one calorie to one gram of water, the temperature would go by one centigrade degree. By the way, we didn't know that that was a calorie. We just called it a calorie. So we calculated how much heat you need to add to take one gram of water, raise it by one centigrade degree, and we say, let's call that a calorie. And then when we compare that to joules, it turned out that one calorie is 4.186 joules. So one calorie uh, is equal to 4.186 joules. So then if we then take a thousand times as much water, that's like a kilogram, then of course we would need a thousand times as much heat to raise it by one degree centigrade. So that's why sometimes when we turn it into joules, we like to uh, say that you need this many joules to turn to increase the temperature of one kilogram of water by one centigrade degree. And so if water, that would then be 4,186 joules. Okay, then comparing that to some other substances, let's say aluminum, the specific heat of aluminum is 0 0.215 calories per gram per centigrade degree, which is about a fifth of that of water, which means that if you add the same amount of heat to one gram of water or one gram of aluminum, the aluminum's temperature increase would almost be five times as great as what it would, what it would be for water. So if you add one calorie to one gram of aluminum, the temperature would go up by almost five centigrade degrees. Converting that to joules per kilogram, it's 900 joules required to increase the temperature of one kilogram of aluminum by one centigrade degree. Then let's look, look at copper. Copper has even a smaller specific heat. It's 0 0.0924 calories, so less than one tenth of a calorie as compared to water to raise the temperature of one gram of copper by one centigrade degree. Or in other, way, in other words, if you add the same amount of heat to copper as you would to, to uh, uh, water, that the temperature of the copper would increase 10, 10 times as much as the temperature of the water as long as the amount of of the two was the same in grams. Uh, take a look at glass, that was kind of interesting. For glass it's almost the same as it is for aluminum, and I'm sure there's different kinds of glass with different kinds of specific heat, but in general it's about 0.2 calories per gram, which means that if you add the same amount of heat to glass as you do to the same amount of water, you would uh, need uh, only one-fifth as much to raise the temperature uh, about one centigrade degree, or if you add the same amount, then of course the temperature would go up five times as high for glass as it would for water. And finally, taking a look at lead, that was kind of surprising to me, but the specific heat of lead is a very small number, 0 0.0305 calories per gram per centigrade degree. So it takes just a small amount of heat to raise the temperature of, of lead. If you add the same amount of heat to lead as you do to water, the temperature would increase about 30 times as much for the lead as it is for the water. So if you add one calorie of heat to one gram of lead, the temperature would go up by more than 30 degrees centigrade. So that was kind of interesting. Now, knowing the specific heats of materials uh, means then that you can use these materials for different reasons. If, you, if you're going to make a container and you want the container to be able to absorb a lot of heat, then of course making out of aluminum instead of out of copper would be a big advantage. Uh, because otherwise the temperature would go up too quickly by adding a certain amount of heat. So, you know, just to keep that in mind. But just a quick review of what specific heats are and how, that, um, how that's related to various types of substances.